Hello YouTube, welcome to my laboratory. Today we're going to build a tool for centering your tailstock and in the process we're also going to show you how to improve uh, the centering of your tailstock. We're starting here with a piece of rod steel, I don't know, three quarter inch diameter. Um, then we're going to face it and uh, clean it up on the lathe here. In this upcoming scene, it looks like the uh, lathe head's going the wrong way. It's not. It's just a function of uh, changing the speed of the video. So this is what it's all about when you have a lathe, being able to take a piece of steel and uh, making it clean and true and precise. So en enjoy this part here, guys. I got to remember to quit saying uh, okay. But anyway, in the next scene, we're going to be uh, using some cutting fluid to try to get a really clean finish on the last cut. And it doesn't work. Uh, I should probably be using a round uh, uh, finishing for this last cut, but I'm just too lazy to change it out. So anyway, I got a few seconds here, guys. Uh, Try to jazz this video up with some music and a lot of quick cuts. And I'd really like to hear some feedbacks if, if you guys like this or not. So the tool we're going to make, uh, basically the way you use it is just going to sit directly in uh, the lay like this, only it will be cleaned up. And I'll have a hole cut through the side of it uh, with a retaining uh, grub screw. Um, and this will hold um, the indicator, uh, which we'll use, and then we'll spin the chuck hat around, which I'll show you a little bit later on in this video. Now we'll move forward over to the mill and we're going to be drilling a hole through this. I start out with a center drill on the round surface um, and then we're going to drill a hole straight through it. and we have a fit. Now go, we'll go over to the vise and I'm going to clean up these drill holes a little bit, give them a little bit of feathering uh, to make it look a little bit better. Now we'll move over to um, uh, drilling a hole and tapping out uh, for a uh, 830 second set screw which we'll use to uh, secure uh, the indicator in, in the in the bar here. Uh, and anyway, I'm going to have a special prize for anybody that can tell me how many us are in this video. So you're going to have to watch it three or four times. Now the set screw's done, we'll go ahead and uh, move over to the bench there and uh, test the indicator arm uh, by tightening it up. As you notice, there's from the drilling, there's a little um, leftover metal there. I just cleaned that out with a drill bit. So we're ready to zero on our tailstock, right? Let's go over. Uh, first problem I noticed is, is that the, uh, the crosshead is in the way. So let's take the crosshead out, right? And we'll move that back and we'll get it out of our way, spin it, make sure it works. Yeah, okay, awesome. Right? Let's get it all done, right? No. Um, the the uh, the screws and everything on the tailstock are horrible for trying to adjust uh, this thing at all. And so when this video should be over, it's not even close. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to fix the tailstock and make it so we can adjust it well. We're going to start out by drilling a couple holes in the uh, top here uh, for screws. Now there's holes on the other side, so we'll have a total of four screws. Um, and just to make them uh, simple, I'm going to make them all quarter 20 bolts. Uh, so we're going to uh, use the mill here to drill the holes, and then we're going to go over and tap the holes out quarter 20.
Uh, one of my viewers commented about uh, they'd never seen anybody use a drill on a uh, tap before. Well, uh, just to let you know, I have a taper tap here which uh, slowly um, uh, cuts the threads and then I'll finish with the regular tap. So I did start out with the, the hand tool and then I went to the drill. Uh, it's a lot easier. Uh, you have to break a whole lot of bits before you know how to do that well um, and ruin a bunch of work uh, to know how much torque you can put on the taps. The little ones you can hardly put any. If you breathe on them you'll break a tap. You all know this. So we have a good fit um, and we're going to go ahead and make the screws. I have a bucket of brass screws and I'm going to go ahead and taper the heads down. What you'll notice is uh, uh, the first two that I make are, are large, rather large, and then when I go to fit them, um, some, uh, some of them are not long enough. And the holes that were already drilled were oversized drilled on the first half and then undersized drilled. So if you look here, you can see that the, the ones that I cut down even more uh, actually sink in. So one of the thoughts is later is that I can uh, clean these all up and sink them all in. But at this point I'm just ready to get the thing aligned and then see how well I can make that work. Now I'm getting ready to get rid of the steel base and I'm just cutting a piece of aluminum. Maybe this is 3 8 uh, I tested it. It fits. It's a little snug. If I need to uh, thin it out I can do that later. Um, so we'll go ahead and cut that. We're going to drill a hole and then I'm going to tap this. This is uh, 3 8 16 here. Um, and a little trick. Uh, when I cut the bolt head off here, you know, you don't want it spinning. And I had thought about, well, why don't, why don't I just go ahead and, um, you know, put another grub screw in there just to tighten it up. Well, I got lazy and I put super glue on there. If that gives me any problems, I'll come back, you know, on the threads. But if that any problems, I'll come back and I'll put a grub screw and do it right. So we got a nice clean fit here. Let's go ahead and uh, dry fit and assemble uh, the tailstock on there. We're not finished by any means, but uh, just want to see how things are coming along. So I looked online and I, I used a couple ideas, put them together. I decided to go with uh, just a, a oversized nut to, and, and, and put a, a bar on it so I can tighten it by hand and not have to get the wrench out. Here I'm front. I'm using the wrench and you guys know how frustrating that is so that's why I left this section in uh, but hopefully we're going to be getting rid of that all together. Here we're drilling out for the 3 8 16 uh, tap and we're going to tap that out and this will be elongated nut and then what we'll do after that is we'll put uh, we're going to drill straight through it and use quarter 20 I happen to have a bunch of stainless quarter 20 as a handle that we'll just screw in there um, I figured if we, if I needed a little bit more fine tuning, I can always change the, you know, use skinnier washers or thicker washers to get a super fine tune. Back over to the mill now, and you didn't see the drilling because my arm was in front of the camera, but this is the complete of the drilling operation, and you can see uh, that I drilled it in across across the uh, the top side. And you also didn't get to see the tap because that was just my hand in the way. And here we go, we're going to dry fit again. Coming up from the next scene is a really good example of uh, how I film my hand all the time. Um, when you don't have somebody watching over your shoulder and you're filming yourself, this is what happens. And after all that work, success. A really nice handle. Now we're going to put all the parts back on the uh, tailstock. The little screw on the bottom, and it's almost worthless. I did see some people moving it to the top, uh, so I guess you could do that. Uh, I'm thinking the four set screws, once I get it, then I'll go back and tighten the bottom. And here it is, a finished product. Um, on, the, on the base, there's some instructions online to lock it so, that, so it doesn't spin. I'm going to see how well this works for me. I've got the longer base here, so I might not have to take the tailstock off that much. Now we're ready to uh, put the lever in, and now we're finally ready to go ahead and align our tailstock perfectly.
except we're not ready. Um, another problem that has came up uh, is the bolt is, uh, it limits the travel um, kind of right on the cusp. Now, I don't know if this is because I didn't uh, put the screw hole in the right place or maybe this is one another problem. So I'm gonna have to go over to the mill and I'm gonna uh, increase the size of the holes on both the base and the top part of the tailstock. As you probably all know, uh, these are cast iron parts. Uh, they're pretty easy to mill, uh, not like steel. Uh, I'm using a little bit of oil here, and uh, it's relatively painless. After the milling operation, we're finally ready to go ahead and center. Uh, we got the four set screws and, um, and, and we've got our tool that we've made set up and uh, we'll go back and forth and so this is a pretty tedious process of going back and forth and back and forth and there's more than one direction here. You don't just have a slide, you also have a tilt. So you, you can you know, be out of the direct line and then you can also uh, be crooked. And, um, and then here's another thing too, is when you extend your tailstock, you know, there could be a difference. So they could be, it could be, uh, you know, a crooked parallax. So you could have it perfect, then you extend it its way out again. Um, it, this was time consuming. I finally did get it pretty straight. Um, not perfect, but uh, I, you, without all four screws, it's just very, very tough. But with the four screws, it was, I would say doable now. All right, in the next clip I'm going to show you, I actually finally do get this uh, pretty much zeroed in. Um, I'm going to come straight up. It's a little blurry, and then when I flip it around, you can't really see. But uh, it's almost dead on, um, and I got it slightly extended. Uh, you do see the meter move because um, it's still not straight up and down. And and so I'll work on that on another video. I, I got it per pretty near straight, uh, left to right. But up and down still needs a little bit of work, you know, maybe another video. But on the other side, I'm showing you that it's pretty much right there on the zero once you flip it 180 degrees around to the other side. So I'm going to go ahead and conclude this video now, guys. Uh, I want to thank you very much for watching. I hope you found it interesting. Please leave any questions in the comments section. And if you like my videos, remember thumbs up, subscribe, and share with your friends.